Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on my tutorials on quantum, quantum statistics. Excuse me. We're on video number 22, and this is density states number 4, where I talk about momentum space. Just to remind you, I have set up a website, universityphysicstutorials.com. So, at this stage, we've built up the mechanics, and I'm going to move through it pretty quickly by calculating our momentum space density states. So, we saw in the previous video that the density of states in vector n space was given by n sub x, dn sub y, dn sub z and scalar space by 4 pi n squared dn. The reason they're different, of course, is because our direction doesn't matter in scalar space, but it does in vector space. So scalar space has actually fewer, uh, fewer states. Okay? Uh, so, we know, of course, that k is equal to 2 pi over a times n. That means dk is equal to uh, del k del n dn, which is equal to 2 pi over a dn. Okay, a, a trivial a trivial calculation, but I'm going to keep doing it so that you can understand it for more complicated expressions. So that means that uh, dk a over 2 pi is equal to dn, like that. So I'm going to plug that expression into both of these to get the density of states in k space. So the density of states in vector k space is going to be v over 2 pi to be cubed uh, dk sub x dk sub y dk sub z and it's going to be g sub s equal to 4 pi now n so n was let me think now k times a 2 pi squared isn't that right yes and then it was dk times a over 2 pi. Okay, so that is in, that's the density of states in scalar moment, or scalar k space. Okay, so let's just put this, let's just manipulate this a bit better. g sub s is equal to 4 pi. We have k squared. Now, two a's here and an a is that's v we have two pi to be cubed uh, so we have this gone this this two of these we have a dk there we go okay so there it's going to be four pi k squared times the volume dk over two pi cubed okay so i'm going to i suppose get rid of this expression in green like that and rewrite it Okay, so at this stage we can definitely see that there, there is a big difference between them. Now let's scale to momentum space. So P is equal to H bar K. That means DP is only a function of K. Is it del P del K times DK is equal to H bar DK. Alright, so let's plug that expression into our density of states and see what happens. So it's going to note it up here that... Um, P dp over h bar is equal to k. Like that. Okay, so let's just plug it in. So g sub s is equal to v over 2 pi cubed. Then we have three factors of h bar, which go like that. Then we're going to have dp sub x, dp sub y, dp sub z. Okay. And over here, g sub s is equal to 4 pi v over 2 pi to be cubed. Now, we're going to have dk, which is going to be 1 over h bar dp. And we're going to have this factor of k squared, which is going to be p squared over h bar squared. Okay? So this time, let's just rewrite that. So we have three factors of h bar. Put them in here. Like that, be 4 pi, yeah, okay, so I'm going to rewrite that, so it's going to be 4 pi v, 2 pi h, okay, and bear with me now, I probably should have prepared this, but I didn't. Now, 
that is the density of states in vector, or excuse me, scalar momentum space. Okay, so 4 pi v over twice pi h bar to be cubed p squared dp. Okay, so that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and you might also check out universityphysicstutorials.com. Thanks.